Should you be power screaming and 3D printing your projects? Today we're asking whether it's worth your time or it's just a fad. Picking weights up off the ground with really awkward grip positions is the hottest form of finger strength training at the minute. And to be honest, it does look a lot cooler than walking around with a couple big kettlebells hanging from your harness looking like you've pooped your pants. Also, you can start collecting a whole range of these strength training tools that look a little bit like they've come out of the bottom drawer of your bedside cabinet. However, the versatility of these strength training tools and the fact you can train new and novel grip positions really easily, even as a beginner, means that these are a great addition to your training, not a fad. The one on pull up is the coolest party trick a climber has because let's be honest, if they step into the squat rack, they're not gonna look very strong. While you're unlikely to actually need to do a one on pull up while climbing, we actually think training for the one on pull up has a lot of carryover of functional strength for climbing. So the one on pull up is really showy, but the strength is also quite useful. So we're on the fence about this one, let us know, fad or not. Replica training has been around for a long time and recently it's been very much in the public view with the Burden of Dreams replica. We can think of at least four replicas in the UK. I'm pretty sure there's one in Italy, maybe one in Japan as well. So Nala Hukutai will really miss the trick not putting a patent on this boulder. For some reason, replica training became really controversial this year with many people worrying what happened if Will Bosey flashed Burden of Dreams. Fortunately, it still took him an extra roughly 10 sessions to actually send the real thing. However, replica training doesn't require 3D printed holes and even the more basic setups of replica training has serious value for intermediate to advanced climbers. And if we wanna see these pro climbers really push the limits in difficulty in the coming years, I think we need to accept that replica training is gonna play a big role in that. Not a fad. Some will say that comp climbing is more like parkour than actual climbing and that it's taking up far too much real estate on the wall. These huge macro holes are just collectors of shin skin and they're easier to climb in rental shoes. However, comp climbing, at least I feel, is also super fun. And when your fingers are starting to hurt a little bit from too much crimping, it's a really good option to go have a go on the comp wall. And if you're not a competition boulderer, we feel that there's still certain elements of it which will help your climbing with just building general movement literacy and balance. However you feel about modern competition setting, it's not going away, not a fad. Speed climbing, of course, will become the most popular form of climbing in the next few years because it only takes five to 10 seconds to watch. And this is approximately our attention span these days. At least here in the UK, you have to drive four to six hours to find a decent speed climbing wall. So it's never really gonna catch on with the masses. With it also not being a mandatory climbing event in the upcoming Olympics, we've already started to see the shift in its popularity. We think speed climbing is a fad. God! You've got more, you've got more, come My on. My only concern with power screaming really taking off as a fad is that the gym will start to feel like you're hanging out in a troop of howler monkeys. And then wearing earplugs is going to become an essential part of your climbing PPE. There is no doubt that for some, power screaming actually does really help them try that much harder. And with arguably the best climber in the world, Adam Ondra, being famous for his power screaming, we think this one is not a fad. That being said, we're not trying to encourage everyone to start power screaming. Please be aware of your surroundings and be considerate to others. Some of the newer modern shoes are so soft these days that they're basically like wearing a rubber sock. And this is probably in line with the trend towards more modern competition style setting. However, when you take these ultra soft shoes outside or you got to stand on really small edges, they're probably gonna come up short. So in my opinion, I think it's a fad, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please note this video is just a bit of fun and if you do not agree with my opinion, that is perfectly fine. Let us know in the comments below whether you think these things are a fad or not and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.